hi everyone, this is Pista Sara again. Uh, today I'm going to make an art journal with the Grinch and the quote, maybe Christmas, the Grinch thought, doesn't come from a store. Uh, it's going to be kind of a Christmassy feeling to it. So the background is going to be, uh, I'm going to use a technique called bandana technique. Uh, and that is actually using a lot of kind of bold colors and then black and white uh, with a ink and a pen. Uh, the white will really highlight the details. Uh, so that's kind of a bad technique I'm going to show you. i got another one over here uh, as well. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to start with the background. So for the background I'm using a memory die pad that is permanent ink pad, black. And I'm going to use a couple of stamps as well. I have this, I'm going to use this one uh, from Udo. Um, then I'm probably going to use those ones, it's a brick wall from Gummiopan. It's called kind of, it's a Swedish stamp company. I'm going to use this one as well. It's also from Gummiopan. Uh, and then I have a kind of a snowflake. I don't know where that is from though. Uh, and then I'm using some Tim Holtz ones. I'm probably using this one. It's the Stampers Anonymous. Uh, so those are the ones. So you remember I'm going to have the the Grinch kind of over here. Um, so that's what I'm planning to do. I'm going to do the whole background, so I'll start. So I'm actually using, uh, I've stamped this, I've stamped this image to, uh, on another paper and then cut it out. So I'm using it as a mask to protect it when I stamp something over it. This is all, I'm just using this one because I only have one of those. So that's why I'm, <laughs> I positioned the stamp over here. Then you see when I remove this, uh, the circles won't be on the stamp in image.
then I'm done with the background. Um, I'm gonna then I'm gonna color it, uh, and I'm gonna use um, distressing barn door and uh, pine needles and mustard seed to get a Christmas look, and then I'm using the uh, distress uh, those small. Yeah, I don't know what you call them. Uh, foam. Uh, just to put some. I'm gonna put it, we'll see. So, okay, then I think I'm done with the background. Yeah. And now I'm gonna fill in all the all the details with white. So that's what I'm gonna start doing. So I guess I'll I'm using a I don't know if you can see it's a Uniball Signo white one. That's what I'm using to fill in the blanks. Fill in the details. Filling in the. I just wanted to show you. I added a. I f totally forgot about this. The Tim Holtz stamp. Yeah, so I added it slightly. And now I'm gonna continue with uh, making the details in white. So. I outlined all the black with white. Um, it really made it pop, right? So let's see. It take a while to do it, but it's kind of relaxing your sitting, coloring it in. So here you go. I think that's all of it.
Yep. Then I'm gonna add the like the shoes or the Grinch, sorry. Something like that. And so remember that this is distress sink and it is it would react with water and decoupage that I'm using. So I'm using decoupage varnish mat to attach those to the page. Uh, but I'm gonna make sure that I only put it on the paper and not the surroundings that I usually put it on. I'll do it like this if you want to see it. I like dip this in, take a brush, and then really making sure that I'm not making it smudge too much of the Then I'm going to make this dry and uh, so I think that's dry. Um, I just realized that I wanted one more of those uh, over here just to get the balance of the page. So I'm actually putting another one over there. I think I want to have it here. There is the difference of the balance, <laughs> actually. Uh, and then I want to make a Outline on this as well, the wind so it stands out of the page. So, uh, then I'm done with that. Now I want to add some. Uh, I want to add some glitter to make it more Christmassy. So I'm using stickles, and I'm thinking about using the yellow stickles on the stars. Maybe just on the white part. And then I'm using uh, Stickles Icicle on the, on the snowflakes. And then I want to add some uh, glossy accents, I think, on the, the black dots. Let me see if this works. Yeah, it does. He has to make it more stand out slightly. Yeah, I want to put I want to put a date stamp on this, and it's the I'm using a thin Lissy one. Um, and it's the 4th of November today, November 4th. So I'm 
I'll see which way is correct. Oh, might need to do it with this. Interesting touch. I want to frame it kind of, so I'm using a uh, Distress Ink Vintage Photo and uh, applicator. And now, since I I did those, there's three uh, yeah, colors accent on those. I can't put anything over there. I need to think about that. So then, I'm wishing you uh, early Merry Christmas. I'm saying bye-bye.